Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make pan seared pork chops with lemon and sage along with a side of sauteed cabbage. So let's get started. Let's review the ingredients. I have cabbage, rice wine, seasoning mix, pepper, salt, lemon, garlic, and sage. And these are a bone-in rib cut pork chops with a fat cap on it. And this is a similar cut to the ribeye beef steak. It has a nice percentage of uh, fat to meat ratio. And the bone-in cut gives the meat a much richer flavor when, it, when you're cooking it. So let's get on with the prep. So let's begin by seasoning the pork chops with salt and pepper. I just season it liberally. And if your um, pork chops just came out of the refrigerator, it's good to let it come to room temperature before cooking it. Uh, let it rest on the on the counter for like 15 minutes. That way, it allows the meat to uh, cook more evenly. Okay, so we'll season both sides with salt and pepper. Okay, and put that aside. Let's um, let's cut the half cabbage. We we'll remove the core. Cut each half in half, and then just do slices, just like maybe quarter inch slice. Pork and cabbage goes really well together. This is a lot of cabbage. Actually, I'm only going to cook half a hit. Crush two cloves of garlic for the cabbage. And the other four, we're going to slice it. Okay. The sage will leave whole. Okay. We're going to slice up one, one lemon. It's like quarter inch slices. We're going to cut the other one in half. There you go. So let's start cooking. Okay, here I have a cast iron pan heated to a medium low. I'm going to add olive oil, generous amount. We're going to slowly fry or cook the sage and the garlic. By doing this, we're infusing the olive oil with the aroma of the garlic and the sage. It smells really good right now. We're going to let it lightly uh, brown. You don't want to burn it. It's going to give you a very bitter flavor. Let that cook for a few more minutes. It smells really wonderful. Okay, that's done. Let's, let's set it aside. Okay, next we're going to add the sliced lemons. Put that down in one layer. We're going to let that caramelize and brown on one side. We'll do like a, a couple minutes on each side. So what we're doing is essentially building up layers of flavor in the olive oil. We'll let it brown on another side for another minute or so. We remove the lemons. Okay, we're gonna set it aside. Turn the heat up to medium high. Put the pork chop down. And when you do that, put the bone, bone side towards the center. Let that, let that brown for about um, three minutes. Don't get tempted to try to flip the pork chop too early. Just let it sit and caramelize. You want to get a nice sear. And once I start seeing the blood rise from the bone, I know that's the time to flip it over. That's browned really nicely. The smell is just phenomenal. We let the other side brown for the same amount of time, about two or three minutes. So now after three minutes, I'm going to return the sage and garlic to the pan. Add the lemon. Turn down the heat to medium low. And let the flavors just meld together. This looks fantastic. 
let this cook for a couple minutes. So to test for doneness, you can just poke it with your hand. And if it gives you a springiness, it's still tender. So I'm going to remove the pork chops from the pan. We're going to make a pan sauce. See all this crusty bits? That's where all the flavor is. So I'm going to deglaze the pan with a splash of chicken broth. And you're going to use your spatula. I have a tong, so I'm going to scrape out all the juices here. Looks really good. Taste it. Ah, tastes great. So now you add the juice of the one lemon. We'll let the liquid cook down. That tastes really great. So at the end, we're going to swirl in two pats of butter. And then what this does is it's going to Thicken and enhance the flavor of the pan sauce. Look at it. Oh, that's unctuous. That's delicious. And that's done. We can serve it. So here's the pan sauce. Just gonna put it right over the pork chops. And that looks really yummy. I can smell the aroma of the garlic, the sage, the lemon is going to give it a good acidity and a freshness to the dish. And here we have pan seared pork chops with the lemon and sage. It looks absolutely delicious. So now let's start cooking the cabbage. I have my pan at a medium high. You can add olive oil, swirl it around the pan. Add the two cloves of crushed garlic, and I'm using half the head of cabbage. Give it a quick saute. Add some of the seasoning mix. Glass of Chelsea wine. And once the cabbage starts to wilt, it's done. I don't like to overcook the vegetables. That's ready. We can plate it. Cabbage looks good. And to carry on the lemon theme, we could just put a splash of lemon juice over it. This is quick sauteed cabbage. Here we have a complete meal. Pan seared pork chops with lemon and sage along with a side of sautéed cabbage and rice. Dinner is served. All right, let's see if my taste tester likes it. Oh, she's making noises. That means she likes it. All right. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time.